My name is Letitia Pinckney, and I grew up in Los Angeles on 54th and 3rd Avenue between Crenshaw and Western. Crime was being committed where I lived on an everyday basis. Mostly it was shootings. Sometimes you just hear a gunshot. Instead of dropping to the floor and saying, was that a gunshot, we would just say, where did the gunshot come from? We were just pretty much used to it. I'm not sure who my birth parents are. Myself and my twin sister were put up for adoption the minute we were born. The Davises took in myself, my twin sister, Kendra, Halia, my brother Dustin. They took in all of us. In elementary and middle school, I was the kind of student who did just enough not to fail. I would just make jokes in the class, say things, smart remarks back to the teacher. I did that all the way up until 11th grade. Growing up in the neighborhood, it was a constant struggle. My parents did lose their house. They couldn't afford it anymore, so we just lost them. My mom was distraught. She grew up in it since she was six months, and her mom had it before she died. I was sitting in the living room, and I saw a sheriff walk up to the door, and they had an eviction notice, and we had to be out in two days, but the guy gave us three days. We had things lasting from 50 years back, 50-something years back. My mom moved to Atlanta. The whole family got broken up. That's when I realized that I needed to do right. When I was a kid, I did have fantasies about what my future was going to be. I had all these dreams, and they were just dreams. I, I, weren't making, I wasn't making it reality. I still wanted to make my parents proud, but I needed to make me proud first. I needed to graduate from me, I needed to live from me, I needed to make myself proud. The last term I was in high school, my GPA from all my classes was 3.6. So I went from a 2.5 to a 3.6. I began going to SMC in the fall of 2008. I take the 204 to the 30 to the 7. About an hour and 30 minutes to get there, an hour and 30 minutes to get back. Beginning at SMC, it was a struggle because I didn't have any books. I had to go without books. I couldn't follow along in class. I had to go to the library and copy some pages. Luckily, I survived. Steve from Financial Aid told me that I qualified for a scholarship. I had the grades, I met the requirements. I get all my mail sent to my sister's house and she called me and told me that I had mail from SMC. I, I didn't really know what it was, so I started to open it. She started screaming like, ah, oh, you got a scholarship, congratulations. No one in my family has ever gotten a scholarship. So I felt like I was up here on cloud nine. Shook the president's hand, and then they took a picture. It felt incredible. You really don't meet the president of anything, let alone the president of the college you're attending. My mom was hearing over the phone. She said she wished she would have never lost the house. She would have been here. We would have all been together. The scholarship made all the difference to me. Without the scholarships, I wouldn't be able to attend SMC, let alone get the books. Some people say there's only two ways out, either death or in jail. I want to show them that there's another way. You can be from the hood, but you don't have to be a part of it. And that's how I live my life.